literally out past the wheel, which is fun.
guys so here's the finished product on the old uh, Prado here so let's get down nice and close so you can see so I had SBH engineering make these for me as you would have seen in the video and he's uh, made these to my spec and design my whole custom Oztrax 4x4 logo laser cut into that one there I'll open the back door so you get a bit of a better look so it's tucked right up under there though but yeah, laser cut an old Oztrax 4x4 logo for me which is a great thanks to you out there to Simon for that one much appreciated so yeah that was a bit of a work in progress um, over the last month or so just to get this all made up so it's definitely changed the look much better unit much more clearance obviously I don't have much of a step to get up now I still can use them as a bit of a step but makes it kind of hard yeah, we'll do a little bit of a walk around here. And, yeah, that's it. So, I do like a little bit of a kicker out the back. It does push the back end out. Uh, in case I come across a tree stump or a rock or something. Save the panel. A bit of damage. So, as you can see, it kicks out a little bit down the back there. And, um... Yeah, that's it so far. So yeah, guys, if you like that, um, I'll put it in the description. Simon from SBH Engineering. Uh, if you're based in Adelaide, need some rock sliders or anything, anything made pretty much, does does whatever you need to do. Uh, I'll chuck a link in the description there, and you can get in contact with him and tell him I sent you. So that's it, guys. That's my rock slider build. Hope you like it. I do. It's definitely grown on me. I was a bit yeah about the design after I saw it, but. Like when it was being made, it looked way massive, more massive than what it is now. But once it's on the vehicle, it actually does look really good. So um, if you see me around, give me a wave, come say hi. And I'll catch us in the next one.